Hello, my name is Gareth McLernan. I am the European Artist in Residence for the William S. Haynes Company. William S. Haynes Company is the oldest continuously manufacturing flute company in the world. We've been going since 1888, uh, based in Boston, in Massachusetts, in the United States. Uh, they've gone around various different locations in that wonderful city of Boston, uh, in, uh, in Hanover Street and Piedmont Street and Washington Street and all these uh, famous places in Boston uh, and now are based in a state-of-the-art purpose-built facility in Acton which is just north and west of the centre of the city. Uh, Haynes have got an artist list to really be um, very proud of indeed um, that, that includes names like uh, Sir James Galway, uh, Emmanuel Paut from the Berlin Philharmonic, Ransom Wilson, Maxence Larrier and, uh, and really very many others you should check out on the Haynes website. For many years, the William S. Haynes Company made alto flutes, handmade, beautifully crafted alto flutes that were played professionally all over the world, in orchestras, in solo performances, and were really very, very well respected. Uh, and then the guy who made these alto flutes retired, so we don't make them anymore from the Boston factory. However, uh, we do have an Amadeus alto flute. This is the 570 model. It comes with a solid silver lip and riser. Um, it comes with pointed key work. Uh, it comes with nice little rotors on the, on the D-sharp and, and also on the B-flat thumb key as well. Um, but more importantly, it comes with one of the best and most sophisticated head joint cuts that I've ever come across, full stop, on any alto. Um, it is just so magnificently chunky and flexible. Uh, I've really never really come across anything like it. I came across this um, about a year ago, this particular flute. I, I didn't even know that these were made by, by the Amadeus company. And um, I've never really looked back. I've immediately started playing, playing professionally, which this is the flute that I'm now, the alto flute that I'm now playing professionally. Um, and at the price that it's at in the, in the market, it's, if you're in the market for an alto flute, or to be honest, even if you're not in the market for an alto flute, it's really worth, um, it's having, worth having a go at this, and having a try, and, um, and just seeing for yourself just how flexible and chunky this, this flute is. For many years, uh, the only Haynes flute that you could buy, realistically, was a professional model instrument made of either solid silver or solid gold. There have been very many famous uh, flutes that have come out of the Haynes Flute Company. So we have uh, Ram Pal's solid gold 14 carat number 29333, which he bought in 1959. Um, you also have uh, the platinum, the solid platinum flute made for uh, Georges Barrère, uh, for which the composition uh, Density 21.5 was written. So these are really sort of famous, interesting, historical flutes that the Haynes Company have made. Um, and primarily that is still the, 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 the main focus of, 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 the, of the company, making a beautiful professional this is a solid silver model here. We have a solid 19 and a half carat gold model here. So that has been historically, that's been where Haynes have been working. But since being purchased 10 years ago by the Eastman Music Company, um, they've now been able to expand the range to involve uh, upgrade, step up, intermediate and conservatoire level instruments. <laughs> 